Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my Mac Studio and today I'm going to show you how to turn the Mac Studio off. So if you want to shut down a Mac, all you need to do is to go to the top left hand side of the screen, press the shut down button right here and then confirm here by pressing the blue shut down button there. And if I do that now, the computer will completely turn off and you'll know that it's completely turned off when this LED light turns from white and there should be no light at all once it's completely turned off. So if for some reason you've got lots of applications open and you can't shut down because it's saying that applications are not responding, what you can do is to go to the top left hand side of the screen and then click on the force quit menu. You can also access this menu by pressing command, option and escape. And then we're gonna get this force quit applications menu. And if there are any items here which are not responding, you can go ahead and force quit them. You could also select all applications by holding down Command and A, and then it's selected all of them, and then you can go ahead and press the Force Quit button, and it's gonna quit all of those applications. And then this should allow us to completely shut down the computer. So here we're gonna press Shut Down. If you want to know another way of force turning this off, what you can do is to rotate the computer all the way around, and then you'll find this power button in the corner here. So that power button is quite important. It's used to turn on the computer as well. However, if you wanted to force shut down the computer, let's say that there's an application that's hanging and you, it's completely unresponsive, what you can do is to take that power button and you hold it. You can hold it for about five or 10 seconds. What will happen is that the entire computer will shut down and then this LED should turn off as well and then you know that this computer has been forced shut down. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.